Please, we can try to oh, help you out, getting you in somewhere. I have to go. Yes, I have to go video him. the ceremony here. First, I want to welcome you all today to wedding anniversary celebration. Yeah. Thank you all for coming. We know it's a rainy day out there. Uh, it's also Father's Day, so for those of you who made that, you know, special track, thank you. And happy Father's Day to everybody that's there. I wish to give a round of applause to the dads. Uh, it's not an easy job. Uh, very rewarding, but it's not an easy job. I'm the only one. Yeah. So we, we have a guest book over there by the gift table. Uh, if anyone, everyone can try to uh, make an effort to sign into the guest book, we appreciate that. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ron Belanger, fifth uh, child of Rainy Marguerite. Um, so I'm going to be, you'll hear my voice a little bit today to keep the event going today. Um, so without further ado, we're going to do some introductions. Starting with the guests of honor, uh, the family, we know them as mom and dad, and we're married to pair. Let's give a warm round of applause to Rainy and Marguerite. Many 
husband, brother, and was. We have Michael, Jamie, and Lauren. Yeah. Jamie's the shy one, if you could. Uh, also, uh, the next in line, and uh, another organizer, more of the glue, Katie Alchula. We just, we just do what we're told. Yeah. The girls pulled all of this together, yes, giving them complete credit. You guys did a great job. Uh, her husband, Jeff, and three sons, Jay, David, and Kevin, chop your hands up. And then there's myself, Ron, thank you, thank you. And truly my better half, Liz. And my son Aaron and daughter Haley, right over here. Uh, next there's Annette. Annette is on her way. We are videoing, we'll show her the video. So my younger sister, Annette, this is where I begin to start saying my younger, and I've been looking up my whole life at all these folks. Um, well deserved. Annette and her husband, Billy, and they have uh, two very energetic athletic boys, Johnny and Tommy Cuddle. So I'll look for them on a reading block someday. And last but not least, the baby. Emily. The best Emily's one out of Steve, son Nicholas, and lovely daughter Krista. And I said right at the comments. So, for those of you who may have been keeping track, that's seven children and 17 grandchildren. Woo! Awesome. I think that did a pretty good job. Right? Well, they've been busy, like I said. So as mom likes to say, seven is God's number. So seven children. And then at seven grandchildren, we couldn't stop. So we had to keep going to get to 17. So you could say it's part of God's number as well. So I want to thank all my brothers and sisters for all the hard work they put in to get to that 17th number. Good job. <laughs> Now, I'd like to introduce a special guest who's here today, a friend of uh, Rainy and Marguerite, a friend of my parents. They get together every Thursday at dance, a dance in Peabody, spend some special time together. Monroe Summer is here. He's 99 years old. His birthday is February 2nd, so we'll be thinking of you on February 2nd, 2016. So at this point, I would like to call up uh, the, the most mature in our family, Richard, <laughs> to give us a little toast, and then followed by, he's going to hand the mic over to uh, Uncle Roger, who's going to say grace, and then we're going to eat. Uh, lunch is ready, so enjoy your lunch, everybody. Here's Richard. I think we need, we need the Johnny Carson theme. And I'll do ball swing, right? There you go. Oh. Thanks, Ron. Good job, Ron. Now, usually I'm pretty impromptu, but my uh, brother in law, Jeff, says I go blind. So I decided to think this out a little bit, put it on paper, and make sure I didn't go over the line. I came close, Jeff. I, I'm going to go a little bit over the line. But. Anyway, so, um, my mother and father, they've been honest about hard working all their lives. They never financed a car, cash only. They own their home while raising seven kids. Unbelievable. 
They also set a great example for their children. We've all been successful in getting college degrees and finding the right person to marry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no divorces. No one has been in jail. Well, at least not for more than one night. <laughs> Um, you know, their influence has filtered down to their grandchildren also. They're all good kids. And to my knowledge, none of them have been in jail. Is that right? Okay, I just want to make sure. I thought that, that's what I heard anyway. Okay, well, apparently dad and mom was quite a catch before they got married. Why else? We occasionally be coming from Norfolk, Virginia to be with her for the weekend. Pretty amazing, that's devotion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And or she was hot. <laughs> that's the one joke. That's the old line. I, know, right? I gotta I gotta find out what the line is, you know? See why we were debating the mature part? Yeah, I know. Well you know, my father's son. What's that? Oh, yeah. I would have married him myself. Now that's exactly. over the line. I might still. I don't know. You're going off script. I know, I know. Okay, off script. Off script. Get back. Anyway, um, I teased my father for years about the fact that I was born less than nine months from their wedding date. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it was only four days less. But it was still less, all right? I mean, come on, he was a sailor, right? But I believe him when he tells me there was none of that until after the wedding. As we know, they are both honest, devout Catholics. In fact, my mother reminded me last weekend of that very fact. She was, I've got a bone to pick with you. I guess she's never heard my joke, but... She was like, I got a bone to pick with you. We never, I said, I know, Mom, I know. I always tell Dad I believe when I believe in <laughs> <laughs> New topic. Yeah. All right, well, I, I gotta finish this one. I just like to see him squirm, that's why I did it. Now we'll get serious. My siblings and I have been very lucky to have been raised by my mother and father. I know other people in this in today's crowd feel lucky their lives have been touched by Rainy and Marguerite. I'm very glad they found each other and created a better world for all of us in the last 60 years to mom and dad. This day's for you. And now, Uncle Roger will say grace so we can all eat. People, bow your head. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us these gifts that we are about to receive from thy bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for the food that we are about to receive. Amen. Enjoy. Amen. Amen.